There are ten, over 10 million stateless people worldwide. 10 million people belong to no country. 10 million people who are losing hope. Having no right to education, social welfare, employment, and other humanitarian services that we take for granted. Seen as an outsider, a mere shadow, these people practically don't even exist. Living all over the world, change for all these people is in order. From the I Belong campaign to those human rights defenders changing our world by the day, we have developed a goal of ending statelessness by 2024. To us, there is no defender that has stood out more than Blue and Vayud. Vayud was born around 1966 in Haiti. She is the holder of the 2002 Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Awards, as well as the Peace and Justice Award from the Cambridge Peace Commission on, and the 2000 Honorary Doctorate from Regents Collins in 2011. Long rang the NASDAQ opening bell in the New York City's Times Square. Efforts to help the people of Haiti have been outstanding. She has done work to open the rights to education and adequate living standards, which in Articles 24 and 25 of the, of the UDHR state are one of the core human rights. She has opened the rights to vac vaccinations for HIV and AIDS, which was important since Haiti has the highest prevalence rate of HIV and AIDS in the Western Hemisphere. The efforts from the International Development Bank has loaned the Haitian population over $146 million for health care, clean water, education, and the development of roads for Haiti. Lon's efforts to end statelessness have been inspiring. As Haitian refugees have fled from the Caribbean since Haiti became independent, the refugees have suffered inhumane treatment and have been denied rights. Vayud has spoken out to Congress and has opened a passage for millions of refugees to begin new lives in America and with the rights to live. Aid for Haiti is needed more than ever. As hurricanes and devastating earthquakes ravage Haiti, people just like Luna are called to action. A ripple of hope for Haiti can be en enough to put its people back on their feet. Everything counts from a million dollars to just your piggy bank. Change begins now. Finally, Robert F. Kennedy's run for president has reached 50 years. Although its end was dramatic and violent, it lives on through the human rights defenders we admire today. He stated, the obligation of free men is to use opportunities to improve the welfare of their fellow human beings. Kennedy did great things during his life, and Hugh Vayud is continuing his legacy. She stated in the remarks of, of 2002 RFK Human Rights Awards. Children in Haiti, particularly homeless and disabled and orphaned, still de desperately need shelter, care, and protection. We must make sure their fundamental rights are protected and that the government of Haiti is empowered to fulfill these rights. Also, before leaving the award ceremony, Luna stated, if RFK was still alive, he would help the Haitian people improve their lives. That is a true statement, and RFK has a legacy in every one of us. With so much being done to end statelessness, where do you stand in the conflict? Will you be a bystander or an upstander like Loon Viad and RFK?